Hey, it's Brian from PSD TV. I'm joined here by Brian Schlichting, a project manager for the Pooter School District. And we're here at Bennett Elementary, one of many schools that underwent a lot of construction and renovation this summer. So Brian, can you talk a little bit about the work that you've been doing this summer? Well, Bennett Elementary is one of five major renovations that we did throughout the summer. We're doing Bennett, Dunn, Polaris, O'Day, and Lincoln. So we went through three months of design, a month of bidding. We presented to the Board of Education in February of what our actual design and dollar amounts was. They approved that, turned around the next day and sent out all the contracts and started securing the HVAC equipment. The stuff we put in in June was ordered 10 to 12 weeks prior just to get it here in time. We have nine weeks to do about six months worth of work. Right now on my three major renovations, I've got a total of about $5 million. That equates to about a half a million per week or over $100,000 worth of materials and labor put in each day in these schools. And so how did you determine the scope of work to be done at this site? Well, this is all underneath the 2010 bond. And how we determined this was actually almost 10 years ago was starting with the 2007 district-wide audit of what the facilities, every facility needed, and a master list was created that went into the 2010 bond. Once the 2010 bond was passed, we distributed the scope of work throughout the district over summers. We cannot do it all in one summer, so Bennett was always slated for the 2016 summer renovation with the other four schools we're doing right now. So I was here a couple days ago and the site looks completely different. You had ceiling tiles everywhere, you were installing new things, and now it looks like it's almost ready for, for staff to come back in, for students to come back in. Can we go take a look at some of the stuff you've been doing? Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's go. Let's go. All right, Brian, so now we're in a hallway, and when I was here the other day, this was all torn up and you were putting in these new LED light fixtures. Can you talk a little bit about some of the more visible improvements and upgrades that you've made to these sites? So a major one is the ceiling we stand underneath. Right now we had so much work above, we ended up having to tear the old ceiling apart, but when we come back, we put in brand new LED light fixtures and just clean, trying to get a nice, clean, crisp, new look to the schools. And some sites need a little more on the outside than they need inside, but it's really just trying to upgrade the entire site as best as we can. And it, it is trying to make it equal across this district. We try the best as we can with what we're working with. All right, so now that we've looked at some of the more visible renovations that have taken place, what are some of the things that maybe students and staff might not necessarily see every day, but that are they benefit from anyway? Let's go into the boiler room where the heart and lungs sit in the building where probably, I would say 98% of the occupants in the building never get to see. All right, let's go. All right, so this is the boiler room. This is the heart of the school, center of the school. Still a couple days of active construction going on. But what we have here is the original boiler room from 1962. Behind us, we have the original electrical gear from 1962. Over here, two brand new um, boilers that we just installed. So we just updated 50 years of equipment within the same room. But again, it's not take everything out and start over. It is parts and pieces of what needs attention and what doesn't need attention. All right, so this room is from the 60s, and you were telling me about another part of the building that is also from the 60s. So the core building was built in, I got to refer, but 62. And then in, I think four years later, an actual modular with eight different classrooms was built to the west of here. And that was unique that it had its own boiler system and its own, call it, heart and lungs of that, which we combined into one system now. So we might as well go look at that one. All right, let's do it. All right. All right, Brian, so here, it looks like this wall is a little different from the rest of the building. Mm -hmm. If in 1993, check my dates, but we would be standing outside right now. Wow. So this corner is the original corner of the 1966 modular unit that the kids would leave the 62 core and come over here. But in 94, we went ahead and just infilled this, branching the two pieces of school together. But yeah, as you can see, 64 brick right next to 94 block yeah. with 
2016 lighting. And so this site is pretty representative of other sites in that there's unique challenges that come up every day, every new project. Mm-hmm. And even the code behind you of how that fire rating is with this corridor is different at every school and every hallway within a school. So it's, it's unique in every corner. And it's a lot of coordination that goes into not a lot of time. So can you talk a little bit about the challenges with the time constraints you have getting in these sites in the summer and then having to be out right when school starts? Yeah, I got two jobs. I got to get the staff out and I got to get the contractors out for the staff. School starts on 22nd. There's awesome. no stop in school. So it's, um, it's a fast project, but it's fun too. Hi, right, Brian. Well, we really appreciate your time showing us around Bennett, and we know you have to go, so... Th thanks for coming to see one of the major renovations. I've got two other fire alarm inspections to get signed off today for the staff to return Monday. Well, you better get going. Thanks. And thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.